Hey everyone, slight delay this week, I was waiting on the BBC to respond to the news, so in turn they were waiting on Hamas to hand them a press release. In the end, it mostly seems to just focus on that massive storm Babette, although it's nowhere near as devastating as the Hamas of storm brewing in southern Israel. This week, Angela Rayner made a comment about Israel not existing 100 years ago, although most of us are now more concerned about whether anything will exist in 100 days or so. So in response, President Biden flew into the Middle East in search of some tough answers to questions. Questions like, where am I? Who am I? And is President Obama here yet? It's amazing, really. Only a few years ago, the left was calling President Trump an anti-Semite, yet now those same people are in the streets demanding a second holocaust. One curious development this week was the discussion about whether a destroyed hospital had been blown up by Israel as an act of war, by Hamas wanting to then turn around and blame Israel to justify reprisals. Or maybe it was them, but it was all a mistake. I did find it strange that on the one hand you've got the Israeli government claiming they had no advance warning that Hamas would breach their border defences and kill 1,300 people. Yet this week they also seemed to say that they knew categorically that Hamas had bombed a hospital with a follow-up press release along the lines of, if you don't believe us then here's the recording of some people talking about it. Let's see where things go in the next week, I guess. Maybe they'll get better. I remember seeing a sign in a gym once that said, nothing is impossible. Although it presumably wasn't put up by someone who tried to cancel their membership and stop the direct debits. So what else happened this week? Well, Greta Thunberg was struggling to stay in the news now that her choice of environmental protest seems a bit old-fashioned compared to the angry crowds in London demanding World War III. She tried to get back in the limelight by having herself arrested again, but barely made the headlines. Although, given her stance on electricity, she probably wants to ban limelights anyway. A lighter story, perhaps. Well, there's a new academic paper out concluding that those who skip breakfast are predisposed to eat fatty or unhealthy food later in the day. So basically, they discovered that if you don't eat for a while, you'll start to feel really hungry later. That's about as useful as the study I came across, saying that if you're feeling cold, you should go stand in the corner where it's 90 degrees. And finally, Michael Caine has said he's going to retire from acting. And not a lot of people know that. Anyway, see you next week. If you like these, click subscribe.